hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind data into a grid view control using link to SQL class and here we got the final output notice the employee table is bounded into the grid view control using link to SQL class and the table is this one ID name email and salary ID name email and salary if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is Grid view bind link to SQL. Click OK. I'm selecting empty templates. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. Right click the project name, add new item. I'm selecting web form. The web form page name is grid view link to SQL add and here we got the source page of the newly created grid view link to SQL web page. Now between the form and do tag I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox from the data folder there is a grid view control double click that one and here we got the grid view control up to now we have just finished the designing part the next thing let's open the solution explorer again add a new link to SQL class in this project I click the project name add notice here link to SQL class select that one the item name is employee class click OK and here we got the link to SQL DBML employee class after that open server explorer data connections right click that one add connection I'm adding server name After adding SQL server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user seller. Sample DB test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the sample DB dot DB under data connections. Expand the sample DB dot DB and notice we got the sample DB dot DB objects, tables, views, store procedures, etc. I'm expanding the tables for this demo purpose I'm using the employee table just drag and drop the employee table on the link to SQL class let's visit the SQL server database we'll check the table and the column names and this is the employee table which contains four columns ID name email and salary I want to bind this table employee into a grid view control using link to SQL. After this, switch to the source page, right click, go to view code. Now, in the view code, in the page load event, I'm adding my employee class link to SQL employee class data connection EMP. DC data context is equals to new EMP employee class data con data context variable I'm declaring a variable employee details is equals to now here I'm adding the link to SQL statement from X in EMP DC dot our table name is the employee 
so dot employees select x dot to list method let's add the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to I'm adding the variable EMP details let's bind the grid view control grid view one dot data bind that's it we have done the complete coding part link to SQL class let's check the output on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output notice the employee table is bounded into the grid view control using link to SQL class and the table is this one ID name email and salary ID name email and salary that's it